All right, soup is on in the CI kitchen. Jacob Dickey has been cooking up a storm. He was doing a little stirring here, mixing all of our veggies up. Very we added hot. The smell was permeating through the building so much. Sarah Lehman's like, I'm coming to join you. <laughs> Right yeah. Yeah. He said, give me a bowl. Yes. Right, so about 20 minutes before the soup is done, of course, I unplug it. I don't want to burn your mouth off here. You know, we're Appreciate that. Yeah. But uh, go ahead and add some spinach in there. You can add some greens and put them in and mix it up in there. Those greens aren't all that wilted there. They look great. They're still colorful. And it's just going to add more flavor and texture in there. And I think we're ready to eat. My mouth's watering, smelling this here. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Broccoli. Same. The tomatoes. There's carrots in there. Those oh! All right, let me, let me try that again. There we go. Get a little bit of green. The ugliest pour. That was the that's biggest good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I've ever seen. Yeah, Someone's got some there. There were a few greens that were stuck on there. <laughs> um, so, you know, it, this is full of vegetables, but the, the meat in there as well, you got that Italian seasoning flavor, that uh, Tuscan seasoning in there. It's going to be mm -hmm. really great and delicious. I'm going to keep this one for me. That is what? good. Give yourself the best soup. Yeah, right. I get the big. This is my dinner too tonight. Sarah can have the four. There you go. So and, uh, good. Here's a spoon for you as well. So we've hey, got thanks. potatoes, we've got onions, we've got celery, we've got corn, carrots, any vegetables you want. You can put cans in there. You can put fresh in there. Cans. Can we talk about the beef though? What kind of like beef do we have in here? So I've got stew meat in there. You go to this, oh, you go oh, to the, yeah. the meat aisle, and you see they've got beef stew meat. Just grab mm -hmm. that. I actually cut it down even more for smaller bite-sized pieces because sometimes they come in there different sizes. It's a little. So yeah. whatever's left of, uh, you know, when they're trimming steaks and whatnot. Um, okay. You know, we cut it down, and that way it's bite-sized in there. It's great. And I don't know how you like the seasoning in there as well. Mm -hmm. That seasoning oh, adds oh. a lot of flavor. Sarah likes it. It is approved. It's very Tuscany. Mm. Oh, is, that what you're, is that the vibe you're getting? I was over here dancing, yeah. which means it's good. That's a good flavor. So. Is the only liquid in here the broth? That's it. Okay. If you want to, okay. you, you can use water, or you can also use vegetable broth. I've used that before, but we're going to beef broth in there. So um, somebody... Do a mix as well if you want. Maybe you only got one of these. Um, something else I'll do, if I maybe I don't have as much liquid in there as I'd normally like, I'll add some water just to, to help, yeah. you know, maybe uh, stretch it a little okay. bit if I've got a big stretch crowd it. of people. Well, stretch your way on over to <laughs> CILiving.tv for Jacob's recipe. We always appreciate you hanging out with us. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Oh, yeah.